San Moran, today I just wanted to talk about something which is called gaslighting, something that is very common and most people, they know about it, they've experienced it, they've been a victim of it, but they are not aware what it's called, they don't, they don't know way, they are not aware what it is doing to them. Gaslighting is a technique that is normally used by the narcissistic people. Narcissistic people are those people who have no sympathy at all. Those are the people who are self-centered, people who only think for themselves, people who do things that benefit them, people who help people in the name of helping people when in actual fact they are helping themselves. So these are the people who don't know how to feel sorry for you. And most of the time, narcissistic people, they tend to be... Um, also either psychopaths or sociopaths, but that's when it's in a deeper level. So now, when you have experienced gaslighting, this is when somebody is denying you of your reality. This is when somebody is denying you of your emotions. You can be telling somebody or like trying to tell them that what you're doing when you do one, two, and three is actually make me feel this way, and I don't like it, and I hope that you can stop it. When, when you confront them about what they do, they will either make a joke about it, laugh about it, belittle your pain and your experience or make you feel like you're crazy. They will deny it. They will say, I've never done that. I don't remember doing that. They are also liars. So they would lie in order to make themselves look a particular way to, towards a person. Narcissistic people are always looking for supply. They don't make relationships. They, they look for supply. So every time when they have found someone new, they will dump you so that they can go and do all these horrible things that they've been doing to you on this other person. And when you're dealing with a narcissistic person, when they're gaslighting you, this is when a, they will do things like coughing in the middle of a serious conversation, faking a cough, faking a yawn, changing a subject when you're trying to talk about things that are actually important to you. Um, they, will, they will, like I said, they will make jokes about it. They will say you are overreacting. So you'll start doubting your own brain. When they lie and say, I've never said that, I don't remember saying that, it's either they're going to say that or they're going to rearrange the, 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 the way the event happened. They will change the whole thing and say, this, this is not how it happened, this is how it happened. So you find yourself constantly trying to question yourself. Am I being crazy? Am I being forgetful? Because they are always trying to put things in your brain. So when the gaslighting is happening, you are being abused in the highest level. This is the highest level of sexual psychological abuse that somebody can do to you. So when you are gaslighted by a narcissist, a narcissist, you are much likely to start losing confidence, losing self-esteem, and start doubting your abilities. And the more you stay in the situation, the worse it becomes. Narcissism is very tricky now when you have reached to the point where you actually started a family with somebody who is a narcissist, especially maybe when there's children involved and, and there's livelihood that you guys are sharing together. Because... If it was not that situation, the best thing that one can say, which is actually the truth, because they will never change, you need to leave, period, you need to leave. Because now this is something that you're gonna live with for the rest of your life. You're gonna live with this being belittled, being ridiculed, being manipulated, being made to feel guilty and shameful. Uh, they will make you feel uh, less than what you truly are. These people, they, they will actually shout your mistakes and then they will whisper your successes because they want to make sure that the bad things that are happening in your life are the ones which are being told to you and reminded so that it messes with your head. The best thing to do is to leave. And I know it's easy to say that and it's not easy to actually do it, you know, but if you, if you need to find strength first because it's not easy because these people are going to make your life hell even after you have broken up with them. And sometimes it's even worse after you have broken up with them. So you got to have a strategy. you got to have a plan. you got to have a lot of support. You need your friends and family, people that you trust. You have to talk about this to somebody that you trust. You should not keep it quiet because they will always make you feel guilty about talking about your business because they want you to keep what they are doing to you a secret so that no one knows. Because remember, narcissists are living double life. Outside in the world, they are known as the most respected people, the most kind, but behind closed doors, you know the truth about who they truly are. So I would say that you need to leave, but you can't just up and go, especially when you're married and have a family. You need to blend. You need to gain your strength. You need to work on your self-esteem and your self-confidence. You need to understand how it works, how their brains work, and why they do what they do, so that you will stop pinning everything that they are towards yourself, because there's nothing wrong with you, believe me. Nobody's perfect, but these people will literally just make your life hell. The only thing to do is to just find a way to come out of it. I know it's hard, but you just need to come out of it.